Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use the mortar in Project Reality. I got a lot of requests and I saw it online people doesn't know how to use the mortar. So, I want to make a little tutorial about it. Well, first of all, you need a mortar pit, so, so as you can see. Okay. Um, today I'm going to, we're going to try to fight at a tank at the target over there. So, first of all, you let your score is set to set up a target. Press E in the mortar, use A and D to adjust the degrees. Okay, so I lined up with the attack marker right now. As you can see down the bottom. Okay, then I press 4. You can do this screen. Okay, now you want to press cap lock and check your range. The range is 450. So you fill in with your mouse. For 50. Once you've done that, <coughs> press calculate and you should get an angle. So it's 1446. Now, at the barrel elevation, you have to fill in the exact the same angle. So 1446. So let's go towards 1100, 1200, 1300. Okay, there's a little trick you can use. So each of the big lines of this one, like this one is, and this one is like 100. This one is 25, the small one. The middle one is 50. And the little small one, the all the little one are five. So then you can like do your little math and it's easier. So we want to get 1446. So let's go towards 50 minus five. There we go. Then you press one to go towards the um, key round. You have two, you have three choices. One HE impact and HE PRX and RP smoke. So the impact is for the assets such as FOB or well mortar pits or anything else. It's best to get used with impact. PRX is um, best use against infantry. It's like airburst and the smoke is just smoke it's it deploy actually a really big screen of smoke it's kind of useful to um, help your team out so for now i'm going to use impact now the range is set up everything is set up the this is set up so everything should be fine now just left click and fire i'm gonna fire two of them Grab my. Well, I don't have a kit, so I'm just gonna watch that. Maybe I will hit. It's got a 50 minute meter spread, so uh, it's kind of hard to hit the target directly, but the splash damage will damage them. Yeah. There we go. One more should come down right now. Okay, that one is a little. Yeah, this one's closer than that one. So I'm gonna fire once more. But this time I'm gonna use the PRX. I'm gonna fire two of them. Should be coming down any minute. Should right now. There we go. The airbrush. Yes. So the airbrush round. And finally, the smoke round. now there we go we deploy a really big smoke screen very really helpful for advancing or retreating objective there we go oh yeah one little thing I almost forgot to tell you can change this with W and S so like go up and Okay, so this is how you use mortar, but um, well, once what happens when the mortar gets empty? Well, you throw ammo pack on it, just like a normal asset, every other asset. Just throw ammo pack on it, and you will get ammo for a mortar round. It takes like, I think three ammo pack to refill the entire thing when it's all empty. I think more than three, I'm not sure. 
or something like that. It takes kind of a lot of ammo. So that's why you need a lot of ammo boxes. Mm, yeah, that's basically it, how you use mortar. Um, if you guys want, to m want me to make more tutorial videos, leave a like and uh, maybe tell me what you want to know for the next um, tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.